Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I'm going to try to make this short as I can. Here we have a miner. Right now it is mining on publictool.io. It has a worker name of 1-2. I'm going to get into my nerd miner version 2 very quickly and I'm going to change that name to 1-3. And I'm going to walk you guys through step by step on how to do it okay first let's go out on the internet I'm going to show you the miner mining right now here it is worker one two. Oh, let me refresh that because I want to get my uh, hash rate so I am mining right now at about 400 kilohashes on my little ESP32 board and that is my miner right there one two all right I'm gonna come back now, what I'm going to do is I want to change this to 1-3. I am simply going to press and hold the boot button for about 15 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'll put the board down. I'm going to go back out onto the internet. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to my um, my Wi-Fi, and there it is, nextgengizmo.com. That's the access point for my miner. Click on it. I'm going to say connect. Isn't this simple so far? Boom. It sends you out to MSN. It always does for some reason, and you simply put in 192.1. 68.4.1 enter brings you into configuration page you click configure do -ba -do, do -do -do. so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put next gen gizmo back in I'm gonna put in my password I'm going to put my pool URL back in. Public dash pool dot IO. Isn't this simple? There is your port number. I'm going to put an X for a password because it doesn't require anything. I'm going to put in my Bitcoin address and I'm going to go dot one three. Bang. I'm going to hit save. Okay, I'm going to go back over to public pool and I'm going to refresh. Now let's give it a moment or two. Just a moment or two. And there is my one three. Bing, bang, boom. How much easier can that be guys <laughs> the reason I'm being so basically sarcastic is I'm getting um, some people coming after me saying that you know why are you making these videos for the nerd minor version 2 when the nerd the NM minor is so much more user friendly granted may maybe it is but that's not the whole reason behind the NM Miner 2. The NM Miner 2 is open source. It's not owned by anybody. You can manipulate it yourself. You are in control. You are decentralized. What do you NM Miner guys don't understand is you are owned by a central company in Hong Kong. How is that decentralized? And you're, you're spreading rumors about the Nerd Miner version 2 that it's virtually impossible, once it's hard-coded in there, to change anything. If you like this video, give me a comment. Give me, buy me a coffee. Call me a jackass. I don't care.
but that's how easy it is to change information on a nerd miner version 2. Bing, bang, boom. See you on the next one.